Howdy, I'm Jo from Spaghetti Agency. This is Todd from Spaghetti Agency. We're both directors. Todd's responsible for fixing everything and the IT side of things, as well as the marketing and sales. Yeah, Joe's in charge of spotting everything that's wrong with the business, including everything that I do, uh, because you're a meticulous, down to the details kind of person. So we've been going about 10 years, yeah. but we actually started with training, well, that was our thing when we started. Yeah, we both really enjoy training, um, so we started off doing that. Um, Covid and the lockdowns sort of made a, a bit of a, a dent in that, we decided to move more into the retained services. So now the majority of what we do is um, creating content for uh, retained clients on a monthly basis, um, but then we also do things like website projects where we help people with their content and that side of things. Spaghetti Agency's approach to marketing is no ball, just beef, uh, because I think that's why we started the business, wasn't it? it? Yeah, so there's a lot of cowboys out there, but not the right kind of cowboys. Yeah. Um, kind of ripping people off a little bit, making money out of them, onto the next client, onto the next client, onto the next client, not necessarily focusing on um, the quality that we like to stick to and not necessarily focusing on the client relationships that are really important to us. So we wanted to be different and um, hopefully we achieved that with our brand. The other, the other key thing about Spaghetti Agency is we walk the walk. So if you look at our marketing, if you look at our social media, if you look at our branding, like we really mean it. And I look at a lot of other marketing agencies, sorry other marketing agencies, but you're just, you're just not walking the walk. Your social media sucks and your email marketing is rubbish and you're not blogging enough and your website doesn't rank on Google. And I, and I thought there must be a better way of doing it. So everything we, we deliver to our clients is something that we do for ourselves and most of our clients really, really value that and that's actually why they choose us. So before we started using people, um, we basically had a bit of a hodgepodge of information in different places, which wasn't necessarily very secure, and it really wasn't very easy for me to find the information I wanted. So I might know that someone's birthday's coming up, but I didn't really know when it was, because it wasn't available information for me. Um, I also wrote our one-to-one -one notes in, um, in, my, in my iPhone, actually, which again, not particularly secure. Um, some of the things that we talk about are quite confidential in those one-to-ones, and it really should be somewhere safe where I know that no one else can access each other's data. Um, so we moved over to Zoho People and I transferred the information in. Now it's really nice because I can get a, an overall picture of, of, of everybody's information and data and I know that no one else can see it. Um, so it's also great because I can make a record of things that we need to know like computer identification numbers and all the sort of technical stuff that probably doesn't matter very much but it needs to be kept somewhere safe. Um, I've also got everybody's contracts in there so if anyone um, asks me a question like what their annual leave is or um, if they have any questions about homeworking or any specific part of their contract I can easily just access their contract um, rather than digging around in a, in a Dropbox which is what I would have had to do before so it's much easier to manage the people side of things now. If I was meeting someone who was responsible for HR in their company, um, I would definitely recommend that they start using people um, or just looking at the possibilities that it's got because it's so flexible and there really are hundreds of things you can do and you can either keep it really simple, just put a bit of information in there or you can really go for it and use the time tracking side of things and the project logging and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's really up to you how much or how little you use. Um, so yeah, if I was networking, if I'm out and about, I'm always recommending Zoho and um, the people section is really helpful for me.